Hey guys, Mike again from ExtremeHydrogenLabs.com. Well, I'm sure you've seen from some of my videos if you watched them. Today is Sunday. The videos I was showing you with some of my problems there was yesterday, Saturday. We've done the other plate so and that has four positives four negatives and the rest are neutrals with a total plate of 15 so that would be there's seven neutral plates if my math is correct I don't know I flunk math class in school but so what you probably all been wondering what that is the little muffin fan up top here blowing away the hydrogen towards the doorway here because boy I'll tell you it really gets thick in here sometimes y'all remember there's the extreme cell that's eight plate no neutrals no nothing 604 that sucker is heavy duty you could probably drop it off a building and you wouldn't hurt it real hard to work with though as far as cutting it out and I spent a lot of hours of cutting and burned many many drill bits up ended up actually plasma cutting a few holes but either way this here is 304 and I'm not happy with it at all I'm just not I don't like the production of it those neutral plates seem to be acting as blockers I mean, there is production going on in there, but it's nothing what I want at all. I, I, I don't like it. I'm, I'm, I may be doing something wrong. A whole lot of bubbles in here, though. There were still bubbles there in here this morning stuck to it. And then, of course, we tried the bridge rectifier last night supposed to break it down to 50 volts DC it wasn't I know I got it wired correctly we we're getting somewhere in the neighborhood of 99 point something DC volts and we didn't have any problems while it was in pure distilled water we added a little bit of lye and that's when you all saw the light start to blink and pop the breaker there in the fuse panel I've tried everything possible that I know of, only half dunking it, uh, lightening up change tanks, back to pure, and you know, it doesn't make any sense if you're going to go real light on the lie just to make the cell work, you're not getting crap for production. So what we did... I know there's a lot of extra wires hanging everywhere, but our blue and our red lines right here go right to our pulse width modulator. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out, we're going to go 14 and a quarter volts. Let's make sure the pulse width is turned down. But you see no green light on. Our little muffin fan here to keep these pulse widths cool. We do buy a pulse width modulator. Buy one of these little fans from Radio Shack or wherever you care to buy one. That's just where I got this one anyways. Gotta have one on these. That those heat sinks just get ungodly hot, even at 20 amps. This is a 30 amp, but it works. It works real good. So what we're going to do, we're going to take her up to 20 amps. And there you go. I don't think that's much at all. I've tried laying it down like I've done in my previous videos. Yeah, it's producing. But as far as I'm concerned, that's nothing. Well, it's something, but it doesn't compare one bit to my other stuff at all. Doesn't compare to the cheese grater, doesn't compare to the vent. And it doesn't compare to the extreme cell. And if you can see in here, it's bubbling in there. And it's making it from the bottom to the top. But it's just, it's not as furious 
is the extreme, so. And I don't know why. I wasn't a fan of neutral plates, then I thought I was, then I wasn't, I can't make up my mind. So I figured I'd build this one. And here we go. It seems to me like it's been a big waste of time. That's why I tried boosting the voltage to it and see what would happen. And then even when I did screw around this morning a little bit with a just so ever little bit of lie, my lights are flickering in here, and that was using the bridge rectifier. I put 99 DC volts to it. I haven't gotten any more than this out of it. So I think we're going to tear it apart. We're going to get rid of the neutral plates, and we're going to add in some more positives and negatives. We're going to turn it into probably, I'm going to say a 12, 12 plater, and see how we end up. Because if an 8 plate puts out what it does, at its thickness metal, this stuff's probably 060, this is 024. We go to that 12 plate, I have a feeling we're going to get some nice production. Okay, we'll be back after a while. I'm going to stay out here the rest of the day and see what I can salvage out of this particular experiment. I'm rather disappointed in it. That was a thing was a lot of work. But, that's how it goes. And then we'll get back on the cooling unit, which we have there. And we made a gasket for the top by this neat little rubber at the hardware store. We've got her marked out. And then we've got our Lexon cut. I have no idea where it's at. And we got some fittings and so on and so forth. And I'm going to try and make a a backlash unit or a flame arrester. I'm going to try some pipe screen and some steel wool. Can't find any stainless, can't find any bronze. So, just for the hell of it, we got a couple of fittings here, a piece of pipe. So, basically, you get the idea. Both ends are fittings. We'll put our pipe screen in the end. We're going to stuff it full of wool. We'll see what happens. We'll do some tests, probably with a balloon. Or maybe even, uh, don't get me wrong, a condom. Condom's easier to blow up, I guess you would say, because they're a lot thinner than a balloon. Taped to a stake out in the yard with a long hose. We'll connect this. Short piece of hose. And a little short piece of, uh, let's say, steel brake line or stainless line. And we'll light it and see if we get any flashback or not. But we're getting real close here. If I have to, I'll put the extreme cell in the tank today, get my pump system hooked up and my radiator in, and then I'm just going to have to uh, spend a little time there. So I still have, I'm going to go ahead and put this panel meter in, DC amperage, and then I have this Hope Sun that's still in the box. There's no reason to open it right now. It's a nice little analog paddle meter. So I have all those things to put in place. And then putting it in a little compact car that's a halfway decent car, you just don't want to hack your dashboard all up and make a big mess of it. You know, if it was an old Chevy pickup or old Ford pickup or whatever, and well, forget the name, just old pickup truck. It didn't matter what the dash looked like. It'd be all hooked up. But that's it for now. Talk to you soon.